Chebas Global Foundation has brought another delay strategy to further delay the disbursement of the grants they promised the masses. TGF was in their quest today, 25th October 2022, demanding for 1,000 Naira from the poor subscribers for ID card that the number will be gotten from their site. After he had collected much money from the widows, the poor and the less privileged, in fact disabled in the society. After that quest, the masses took to their Facebook handle and Twitter to stage their consign in refusal and they were very formidable never to comply to such frustration coming from Tiobat Global Foundation. Remember that Theophilus Eboin started collecting money from the masses in 2019 and had promised them he would disburse immediately and he is still doing so even as we write the general public. We are calling on the federal government of Nigeria to come to our aid. They should at least investigate Theophilus Eboin to know whether he has grant to even give to the masses in the first before we talk about this buzzword. In the late hour of today, Theophilus Eboin, the Benway Bond Grand Facilitator, and a heartless pastor has debunked telling the masses to get ID number from his site and as well pay a thousand naira. In telephone call conversation with one Mrs. Bridget, during the conversation, he was also asked whether the rumor that the mandate to this boss was, was taken from him. He replied and asked the woman, and I quote, can someone take away your child from you? And the woman replied him that it's not possible. The woman tried to tell him that he shouldn't be comparing a child with the mandate and the, he stated categorically that the mandate is worth more than a child. TGF should be praying and be calling the God of justice and government or better still prepare for protest, a nationwide peaceful protest in order to stop this extortion from the gullible. My viewers at home, what was your reaction to this? Please uh, drop your reaction in the comment section and your voice will be heard and clear around the world. And ensure you subscribe to our channel for more updates from the Let's Press. Uh, thanks and God bless. We shall be looking at this for a while and later we shall draw the curtain. Uh, uh, stay tuned, please, as we, you know, go into the reaction session. But before we do that, ensure you subscribe to our channel and share this report. Make this report very spread the report across on these platforms and uh, let's look at them um, what we have in the comment section before we move uh, to the next uh, next stage all right this is from uh, favor willis uh, according to favor willis he says uh, chichi they will not see it again if this saga is true Say she, she they will not see again if this saga is true. Uh, we do not pray that uh, you know what's ongoing should you know linger. We pray that uh, uh, the chief executive officer of Tiobat Grant Ambassador Theophilus Eboin should do the needful because uh, this grant issue has been a grant for a long time and you know the needful ought to be done, but. Um, as uh, you know, our top source, you know, call on the federal government to come into or weigh into the issue. We pray to that the federal government heed to the call because uh, this uh, grant issue has taken long time, and uh, according to top sources, a lot of persons have died, you know, leaving this grant, and uh, uh, persons are have been rendered homeless, and uh, you know, uh, a lot of persons borrowed money from the bank. In order to facilitate this uh, grant, but as it is, you know, they've not seen anything, and uh, this is worrisome and so disturbing that uh, uh, the people that are, you know, uh, you know, as a pastor, uh, things are not supposed to be like this, but uh, 
this is what we have seen so far and uh, uh, as a media you know personnel who promise to get to the root of all this all right my viewers at home uh, let's move forward uh, let's see uh, we we'll have another reaction here and uh, this is from Frank uh, C. Delso. Okay, let's see what Frank C. Delso is saying. According to Frank uh, C. Delso, he says, uh, I, did, I did get the money. Don't we think this man is just playing us? I don't believe he has anything for the people. Okay, uh, Frank is asking, How did uh, uh, Ambassador Theophilus, Chief Executive Officer of Chubat Grant, uh, got the money he intends to disburse. Uh, also saying that uh, don't we think this man is just playing with us? Okay. Uh, what do you have to say to or uh, reply to Frank Sidesu comment here? Uh, please uh, drop your ration in the comment section. Your voice be here and clear around the world. And ensure you subscribe to our channel uh, for more update from uh, Daily Express. Uh, thanks and God bless. Okay. Let's see. Uh, according to Frank Cidesu, okay, okay, that is according to Frank Cidesu. Then, uh, also, uh, uh, Ambassador Tophilos has said that uh, uh, the money is grant and uh, is from uh, international donors uh, to help Africans out of uh, poverty and, uh, you know, uh, also help in, uh, you know, improving the lives of uh, uh, African Africans. So that is it. Uh, let's see. Uh, also, too, uh, this one is saying, "Oh, this is not good." Theo is in occultism. That is according to JP Peter. Uh, please uh, do not use, use our platform to throw tantrums at others, and we do not encourage this place. In case of next time, JP Peter. Monday, Mary B also commented saying that please stop defrauding people with grants, according to uh, Monday. Okay, uh, Monday is uh, you know that is according to you know the voice of Monday. All right, uh, let's move forward. Uh, Ada B says, uh, hmm, Nigeria, which way? Church, how far? Okay. Nigeria, which way? Church, how far? As according to Ada, will be okay. All right, uh, we're we'll still here taking more reactions. Uh, stay tuned, please. Grace Shukuma says that uh, by time they will collect the one thousand era to thousand, they will make millions of naira. Okay. Right, still here taking more rations. Stay tuned for more reports, and this is all we can take for now. And bye for now, please.